This video is brought to you by TravelWizard.com, the sophisticated traveler's luxury vacation connection. Waking up every morning to discover a translucent turquoise lagoon just outside your door. Spending your days exploring an underwater world of brightly coloured fish and rare coral reefs. And riding horseback in the sand for miles. Along the water's edge in a place where time is not important and stress is a thing of the past. Swaying in the breeze between two palm trees while taking a nap in the middle of the afternoon and being pampered far beyond the limits of one's imagination. Andrew Harpers calls it as close to heaven on earth as you're likely to get. Honeymooners and romantic couples call it paradise found. And Richard Evanson simply calls this pristine South Pacific island home. This once barren, uninhabited Fiji island was purchased by the American entrepreneur in 1972. Uh, along with a, a lot of other guys, uh, I thought money meant happiness. And so I worked really hard I, in cable television, and I made a, a, a pile of dough, but I found I wasn't happy. So I said, well, I better go out and try to find uh, some place I can uh, uh, find uh, some self-fulfillment. And I was, uh, thought I'd take a trip down to the South Seas. I ended up in Fiji for a two-day stay, which turned, it turned now into 31 years. And I found these people were so accepting, caring, and loving, and that's just what I needed in my life at that time. 
So I ran to a guy that had an island uh, for sale. I bought that island, and the rest is, uh, is history. The filming location for the 1949 movie Blue Lagoon and its remake starring Brooke Shields in the late 70s and in 1980 became the Turtle Island Resort, a world-class, truly all-inclusive resort. Turtle Island, reserved exclusively for its guests, provides an exceptional opportunity for 14 couples to escape from Western life, to become reacquainted with the simpler values of life, to reconnect with one another, and to return home with a renewed spirit, completely relaxed and revitalized. Uh, some of our uh, guests, maybe a lot of them, come for our 14 uh, uh, separate beaches. In fact, we say, uh, some people say, well, Richard, why do you only take 14 couples? And I say, well, we only got 14 beaches. And, uh, but the, what happens when they get here, they find that the true uh, uh, loving, caring nature of the Fijian staff is something they didn't count on, something that they fall in love with. Taught at a young age to honor their guests above themselves and to value family and friends above material possessions and to live a life of simple childlike joy, Fijians fill each day with bulas, songs and smiles and help make this tropical island experience so delightfully unique. With the management's philosophy of once you pay, you only play, guests are free to play and partake in all of the offerings to their heart's content. I wanted a small operation. I wanted one that was all inclusive because I didn't want to sit around with my guests wondering who's going to buy the next round of drinks. I want to sit around with the guests like they were friends. We could gather at a common table if uh, we so choose. The 14 Fijian style bourrees situated along the beach of the Blue Lagoon are handcrafted with vaulted thatched roofs and feature hardwood floors and louvered floor to ceiling windows on all walls. From comfortable four post king size beds to soothing jetted spa tubs and romantic double showers. The Bourrées come equipped with a Bose CD stereo system and feature a private veranda with a daybed and fish pond. Giving new meaning to the word fresh, the culinary staff prepares its island specialties with organic fruits and vegetables, grown in the island's four-acre vegetable garden, and a vast variety of seafood caught by local fishermen daily in the surrounding waters. We get a lot of uh, romantic people coming here. In fact, we say, if you love your partner, come along. We also say jet setters, trendies, plastic people, nitpicking, antisocial grouchers, give us a miss, huh? On the other hand, if you really love your partner and you got some adventure and excitement left in your bones, come along, we're gonna have a great time. From indulging in exquisite, one-of-a-kind dishes to being pampered with a nurturing forehand lomi lomi massage, each new experience is there to be savored like venturing into an enchanting rainforest or letting the wind catch your sails on a sunny day and, at the end of the day, sitting beneath the shade of a great bucket tree and sharing carver and song with newfound friends. Here's a page from our Traveler's Notebook. If you're planning a trip to Turtle Island, here's a few tips. You can count on warm tropical weather any time of the year with an average temperature of 85 degrees. The wettest months are January through March. The flight time is 30 minutes and the plane flies at a low altitude of 1,000 feet. So have your camera ready to enjoy the breathtaking views. The seaplane is small, so there is a luggage weight restriction of 33 pounds, so pack light. Dress is cool, casual, and comfortable, and the resort provides complimentary laundry service daily. Don't pack your beach towel, robe, hair dryers, or shampoo. It's all provided at the resort. But do pack a good pair of hiking shoes or sneakers to explore the 500-acre island. Fiji is very close to the equator, so don't forget your sunscreen. Turtle Island is an amazing, beautiful resort in the remote Yasawa Island group in Fiji, which is a necklace of islands just dotted down the northwestern top of Viti Levu, the main island. There are uh, probably 30 to 40 islands in the Yasawas group and Turtle is right in the middle of the whole chain. It's a privately owned 500 acre island 
that nestles in a community of three and a half thousand people that are spread in seven villages on three separate islands around us. There are no villages on the island, but uh, we very much are part of that community in what we call the Nadula Tekina. Uh, that's sort of a Tekina is like a shire or a county.